Well, happy joy. I, uh, I don't know if you can see it from back there. My hammer's not reading center. So I want to correct that first. I broke another tip. This is the, the last one I waited uh, a few days and got another one in. I'm just finally getting around. I didn't have any need to uh, change it out, but now that I had a small crash, uh, I do have a need. And apparently, <laughs> I didn't notice it before, but when this thing fell out, dropped straight down onto the uh, one, two, three block and left a little mark that looked like a bomb went off, a little micro bomb. That's what knocked this out. So I need to see if I can get that adjusted first, back to center, and then we'll get the uh, concentricity set. Okay, as you can see, I'm off here on my hammer. And we're going to see if we can get it back into center here. Now, in this particular model, there's four adjustment screws right here, okay? They are smaller. They're 1.5 millimeter. The four that are up around the top use the 2 millimeter that comes with the hammer, okay? So it's kind of like a four-jaw chuck. you got to uh, tighten and loosen you know, to uh, move it. So what we're going to look at here is I'm going to on, start on the top right, and if I tighten that, it moves the needle to the right, okay? I'm going to put that back somewhat loose. Let's go down to the bottom here, right side. If I tighten it, it pulls it to the left, okay? So, let's see, top one here, if I tighten it, it pulls it to the right. So the top two pull the needle to the right. The bottom two pull it to the left. So I'm going to... It, it's off to the right a bit there, so I'm going to use the bottom two. And I'm going to snug them up just enough to get the needle past because uh, I don't want it... I want to make sure each one has some tension. So I'm about one and a half there. And I know I've got a little tension on that one. So let's do each of these top two. Let's see if we can... Well, that's not wanting to pull it all the way back. Let's see if how much this one pulls it. Oh, yeah, almost a little too much there. Okay, so that's fairly firm. Let's... Uh, Come back to the bottom so it'll pull to the left. That's getting pretty close. I want to wiggle. Oh. I'm not close enough to middle. Uh, it's got a very sensitive piece in the middle there as to uh, where it catches. So, so let's... Uh, Let's loosen them back up. Okay. Now we're back to working nice here. Each direction moves the needle no problem. So let's try this again. Oh, uh, yeah. Try to remember here. Yeah, so the, the top ones move it to the right, the bottom ones move it to the left. So we'll move that to the left, make sure it still works. We'll tighten this one up a little bit, move it to the left, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move it just past. And I want to make sure it still works. And it's just past. Now let's see if we can just snug up the top ones. I don't really want to tighten it all the way, but I do have some tension on that screw. And that's almost not enough tension. So I'm going to go ahead and snug that one back up. Now from where, looking at it, it, it's right on the money, but let's move it around a little bit. Okay, still working just fine, but it's sitting to the, to the left just a little bit. 
this one was a hair loose so let's see if we can just use it to bring it back to the right a little that's dead nuts right in the middle and now it's back the other way so tighten the other one here that's dead nuts again still working and we want it to stay dead nuts now it's not moving as far now so let's let's snug this one up just a little bit more okay right in the center of the zero still working but now it's to the right just a little too far so let's uh, let's bring it back to the left a little bit more and now it was getting pretty firm that's why I'm switching over to this one All right, there we go. I just loosened it back up just enough because uh, you know how you, you tighten it and there's a little load, and then when you move around, it settles in, so it settles too far past. So I tightened it up and then I loosened it just a hair, and then when it's seated, uh, I'm right in the middle now. Okay, parallax error. If I don't have this pointed exactly at you, you're not going to be able to see it, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty damn close to me. Okay, now let's tackle the concentricity of the probe tip. Which, I mean, before I've spent friggin' hours and hours trying to do this. I shouldn't say hours and hours. I've spent hours and hours doing it, but typically like, you know, half hour, 40 minutes at one time. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the spindle on at 200. And let's let's zoom in there. If I can get it to focus on what I want. Come on, come on, there we go. And looking at it, it looks pretty damn concentric. I'll put the meter, I'll put the uh, indicator on it. But that should, uh, that looks like it's really close. Okay, and there may be better ways. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. I put my indicator up like that. And I try to get it fairly close, up and down. But we're going to, we're going to, uh, I think I'm gonna point it at the I'm gonna point it at the uh, face there so it'll stay focused a little better. That's a bigger area. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run up against here until I get an indication. So let's take X and move it. Oh, there we go, got an indication. Now I am going to move it up and down in Z. Okay, see how it's dropping? I wanna raise it up. Oh, I wanna catch that peak. Right there, and that tells me the two balls are tangent. They're at their apexes, okay? It's not extremely important uh, that they are, at least I wouldn't think so, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that just to, just to make sure. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with Y, and I'm gonna run it back and forth, okay? Uh, and again, went up, went back down, so I wanna catch that peak as close as I can. Now, let's, uh, let's turn it on at 200 again. Ooh, we're pretty dang close. Now, the thing is, is moving these should not move this arrow, this needle. It should move this one. Okay. So if I loosen that up, tighten it back up, see, it's, it's moving the needle down there. It's not doing anything to the top one. So let's just pop these loose for a second. Because I have other video recorded, I'm not sure, you know, I may combine it, but 
since I had to center the, the face here this time, I'll probably use this video. So what we'll look at here first is um, if I tighten this, pulls the needle counterclockwise, okay? If I tighten this one in the back, it pulls the needle counterclockwise. So the right side pulls it counterclockwise. Tighten this one up, tightening it, pulls it the other way, pulls it clockwise. And the one back here, tightening it, pulls it clockwise. So they're all loosened up here. They're all loosened up. These won't affect this needle, only this needle. So I set it to where that's reading zero at one peak. And, you know, it's uh, almost, oh, it's not six, it's uh, five and three quarters. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this, knowing that the ones on the right make it go counterclockwise and the ones on the left go clockwise, okay, I'm going to turn this so that my two adjustment points are 180 and they're basically in line with the movement of the uh, test indicator. Okay, so this one, this one, <laughs> this one will pull it counterclockwise and I can go down to right around two and a half there. I guess I'm closer to one. This one will pull it back. And we want to be at close to two and a half. Now I'm going to turn it to where the other two are in line. This one should pull it counterclockwise. Down about two. Notice I overshot it. That's so that I can get some tension on this side and get it pulled back up. So two and a half. So let's see how close we are. I might have been looking at the wrong number there, but uh, let's... Uh, okay. So there's a peak. We're looking at uh, one and a half now. And it's going the other way. Okay, so what I can do is I can turn that until the peak's that way, but then i got to remember that the ones on the left pull it counterclockwise. So it might just be easier for me to say, okay, let's adjust the left side first and pull it clockwise. Um, and I said it was one and a half, right? So that's roughly three quarters, so... Okay, and they're snug pretty good. I didn't really have the needle move there much, but... Okay, right there, we're already within a half a thousandths. And I, I did this a bunch the other time. I may throw in some of the uh, repeat video, the the because I did it repetitively, rep repetitiously, I uh, did it multiple times, uh, kind of learning it myself and trying to prove that it was doing what I thought it was doing. And so you take one side and you uh, overshoot by a little bit, and that gives you room to snug these up and pull it back. Okay, so we're within a half thou, and it looks like Well, let's see, what's the swing? The swing is right in the middle there. Um, yeah, the, the reality is you don't really need it any more accurate than that. Let's see, that side, I need it to go counterclockwise, so... A little... Oh, yeah, see, I made it too far. Ah, 
I was pulling on it so hard I threw the reading off. right out about a half a thou. I still want it to go a little bit more in that same direction. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Okay. And the reason I'm going to take it, it's more than accurate enough for what I'm doing, okay, to start with. And two, I break the tips so damn off, and man, I'm not going to spend all freaking day down in that last part. Anyway, it won't take all day. Uh, but they're getting, they're getting too tight on that side, so... Yeah, that's even closer. And let's sp spin the spindle. Yeah, because me moving it... Uh, you know, I mean, heck, I can... I can wiggle the column and make it uh, move, so... That's pretty dang close. Anyway, hope that helps somebody. It... Uh, it, it just seems so much easier to, you know, basically adjust one side and pull it a hair past where you want it. Then you snug up the other side and pull it back to the center, okay? Um, I'm going to call this good and get busy with other stuff.